What is up everybody? My name is Advance and this is Advance Plays. And to say the least, my season is going great so far. I'm sitting comfortably at 5 and 0, undefeated. I knew they had it in them, which means they could do it in real life. But <laughs> in any case, I'm not going to talk uh, so much trash on this one cuz I got the Eagles. You know, I love the Eagles. Uh, I love Carson Wentz. Two of my closest friends are Eagles fans, and I don't want that wrath. So, <laughs> so look, um, I'm just going to shut my mouth. Uh, I'm going to get into this game. I'll pop in and out with commentary as I usually do. But this is, um, all right, this should be a good one. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football, and on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden, and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. There you go. <laughs> That's my man, though. He don't get enough. Uh, he don't get enough credit because people say he stay hurt all the time. But I don't care. I like him. They're gonna try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting box, they're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0. Who's jack his intro like that? <laughs> too they're the tone setters for these guys and the entire team feeds off of what they do Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready Wait, to what? take over. And here's a look what the hell happened to Wentz? Standing 6-4. And what's a He's still on the roster. Friend? Balance. That was him that came out of the tunnel. Why? Why isn't he starting? A lot of guys would say a great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. Oh um, man, I can hear. Um, can I can hear my friends yelling at the screen now. But um, no, that Hunter Goodwell. That was the um, the rookie that they drafted in this past draft. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his So I don't know what's going on, but I don't know. I thought he was hurt, but if the, but do they still do the intro if they hurt? Miles Sanders first carry of the game. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Well, that's just running the ball 101 because too much east-west, not enough north-south. Got to get upfield, don't you? They just kept stringing him out, stringing him out. Before he knew it, he had hit the sideline. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Eight yards in the completion, but now they face third down. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. They'll set up to throw. He's got right here. 
And he is going to lose yardage here. And a loss of three to bring up four. Certainly not the start they were looking for offensively coming off that loss last week on the road. And they didn't do their job. They're going to feel poorly about that. But what they're going to do is look at the defense and say, can you pick us up here? And let's face it, defenses can score. We've seen it, right? They can take the ball away, create a big-time opportunity. Let's see if they can get that done. Yeah, just something to jumpstart this home crowd. The Eagles send out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. There's the Penn State man. It's Chris Godwin. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Demario Davis there on the stop. And we get a glance now at the Buccaneer offense. And they should come in pretty well rested because they had their open week last week. Ideally, all teams want to have that open week later in the year rather than this early. But you make do with what they give you. So you take the time off, rest up, heal up, and come in ready to play. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Time to peek at the defensive starters. Here they are for Philadelphia. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. They're not an elite unit. They're not, as what you'd say, the top part of the league against the run. They're a solid group, though. They do a good job. What they're looking for in this one, though, is an elite performance. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook. Pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rosen will throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, I to didn't want offer it. Mine. You, know, you, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He was trying to find O.J. Howard, and it's third down. 
So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. Going to throw deep for the end zone. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And Gay knocks this one through. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you get the nerves at the beginning of the game still, don't you? Those don't ever all right, all right. You might got some skills. You <laughs> might got some skills. Hey, you're not really ready to play. So it's hard to say those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way. That's what all the guys are looking for. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll run it here. This is James White. Wait, they got James White? Not sure exactly what happened. Oh, snap. No, they had James White. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Oh, he'll be all right. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's a second and seven. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Looking to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 36. The goal for any offense versus if Rigger defense, plays that well for the Eagles in real life, they uh, they could have a powerful weapon on their hands. Any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. No room to be had there on the first down run as he's lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Check that guy. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Watch left, watch left, watch left. He's stuck right there. Three down, three down. Let's go. It's a second down run with Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Ready, ready. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss of two there, second down. 
Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. He'll look to throw, and he connects with Ertz. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll make it second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On second down, it's Sanders. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup, and now they've got a third down and eight. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Hey, hey, let's go. Interception all day, baby. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now, those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. It's what you call a rookie mistake. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no. Nope. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The 20, 10, and he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag Holy on the field, offense. and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just Way to yet. waste an awesome play by a receiver. Because so I thought for touchdown. sure he was tackled. So we're going to do what my coach made us do in high school. We're going to run the same play, and we're going to get it right. All right, all right. Oh, 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 he slipped out of that one, too. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you execute. Good job. <laughs> 90 yards. So from back deep, deep in their own territory, all the way into the end zone. You think they expected to score on that one? I'm not sure they expected to score, but they also show that they're not averse to taking a little bit of a risk there, right? Taking a chance because the normal call is take yeah. care of the football, run be it, safe. be safe. Instead, they put it in the air and took a gamble, and it paid off in a big way. That wasn't an analytics call. That wasn't a fantasy guy's call. That was like a video game call right there. It was a little bit of a video game call, but it worked. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? 
or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Ten yards there and an eagle first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, and that'll make it third down. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. And that will be incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. And this is away. It's a high kick. And he got all of it. Offside. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. Now Rosen looking to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Call that a very strong gain of 24. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On first down, it's Rosen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Rosen. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 40. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first down. Open man, Gronkowski complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 yards on the play and a Buccaneer first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So 
So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and CD in a minute. First, it's time to take a look at what we've got coming your way this weekend in the NFL. Some very intriguing games in that early window, highlighted by the one going on at the Superdome. A big test for the Saints as they'll host the Washington Redskins. In the late afternoon games, the place to be might very well be Denver, Colorado, where it'll be the Broncos taking on the Dallas Cowboys. And one more to highlight, a good one on Monday Night Football between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. In our game has been the UCLA man, Josh Rosen, with the strong first half. He's thrown for close to 200 yards already, and that's helped propel his guys into the lead as we send you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Back onto the field comes the offense as we zero in on Josh Rosen. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it, we got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great the protection's if that's where you're been, going. Yeah, protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burke, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you. To... The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll go again to Jones. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On first and ten, quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down now, it's Thornton. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. Not much there, maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Rosen. He's going to let this go for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. 
Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. To throw is Rosen. This is caught, Gronkowski. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. A 10-play drive that time. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. A marker down. He does get it up past the 25. Will it hold? Let's see. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. Mike, 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Again, it's Jones. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third. The Bucks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Now a give right side. It's Thornton. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Brandon, sometimes it just comes down to the power of suggestion because I know exactly what they said all week long. We're coming off the open week. We'll have the fresher legs in the fourth quarter, and they will wilt when we get to that point. And right now, it appears that they're thinking that exact thing. Yeah, offensively, they had the bye last week. Defensively, did not. Is that really a big factor? Is that more talk during the week? I think the more that you talk about it, the more that you emphasize it, the more sometimes it comes true for your team. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Watch QB drop. Switch on down. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. They'll try the left side. Thornton looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The Sanders has got it complete. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> and just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. 
Now back to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second and four. And that's complete to Sanders. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 33. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Second and 10. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. Then he'll be brought down at his own 10 yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Two yards, good enough for a first. First down carry by Jones. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. He'll look to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Jones. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And they did it in shut Damn, Doug, throwing the clip for it? be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have to right, in any case, that wraps up this game. I'm advanced, and I will always continue to be. I'm going to pull a SpongeBob, and I'm going to go on and head out before the battery start flying. But as for today, you guys are nails out there. So for the Buccaneers... They remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they'll be off to Oakland next week for a date with the Raiders.
I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.